Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I am Scott Wilson. In today's headlines, former Prime Minister Edward Siaga laid to rest. And in sports, Elaine Thompson takes national sprint double. Former Prime Minister of Jamaica, Edward Philip George Siaga, was laid to rest yesterday at the National Heroes Circle. The state funeral was held at the Cathedral of the Most Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity Cathedral in downtown Kingston. While hundreds gathered outside under tents for the near three-hour service, Others who were not able to secure a space under tents resorted to using umbrellas to shelter them from the scorching sun. The hearse arrived at 10.40 and the casket was taken into the church on the shoulders of an eight-member bearer party of the Jamaica Defense Force. Government officials then started to arrive. Governor General Sir Patrick Allen and Prime Minister Andrew Holness, members of the cabinet and officials from the region were among those in attendance at the funeral for Mr. Siaga, who died on his 89th birthday on May 28th. Turks and Caicos Premier collapses at Siaga's graveside. Turks and Caicos Premier Charlene Cartwright Robinson was whisked away to hospital after she collapsed at the graveside of former Jamaican Prime Minister Edward Siaga minutes after the final burial rites were performed. As mourners were leaving the area and dignitaries were being picked up by their respective drivers and security teams, Cartwright Robinson was placed on a stretcher and put inside an ambulance by medical personnel and some Jamaica Defense Force military police personnel. The extent of her illness is not yet known. And in sports, Elaine Thompson takes the sprint double. Reigning double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson announced a return to top form after securing the sprint double with another world-leading run on Sunday's third and final day of the J3A Supreme Ventures National Senior and Junior Athletics Championships. Thompson, who beat Shelly Ann Fraser Price in the women's 100 meters final on Friday, replicated the feat in the 200 meters, clocking a season's best 22.0 seconds ahead of Fraser Price's 22.22 and Calvert Powell's 22.92 seconds. Olympic silver medalist Johan Blake missed out on the men's double as he was beaten by Rashid Dwyer in 200 meters. National senior and junior championships end in disarray. The three day J3A Supreme Ventures and National Senior and Junior Athletics Championships ended on a sour note Sunday at the National Stadium. The controversy surrounded the women's 100-meter hurdles final in which 2015 world champion Daniel Williams was deemed to have false started. After a lengthy protest by Williams, the race was eventually run without her, but not all the remaining athletes heard the starter's gun and the recall as the inform Janique Brown ran the entire race. Another rerun did not take place and the race was eventually aborted with the officials noting the athletes to represent the country in the event at the IWAF World Championships would be selected as per J3A rules. The local governing body has promised another statement sometime this week. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant viewing.